Have you ever taken a photo so crisp and vivid? It felt like you were seeing with superhuman eyes. Maybe it was your phone camera capturing a sunset in stunning detail, or a DSLR lens freezing a moment mid-air in perfect clarity. What if I told you that behind that photographic magic is a rare metal you've likely never heard of? One that's not flashy like gold or as famous as silicon, but it's quietly making modern optics possible. Today we're talking about lanthanum, the hidden hero in your camera lens and one of the unsung champions of our digital age. Get ready to look at your gadgets a little differently because there's a secret metal shaping how you see the world. Right here on History of Simple Things. Lanthanum isn't your everyday metal. You won't find it in coin collections or hanging from necklaces. But it's actually everywhere, quietly embedded in technologies we rely on daily. It's a silvery white, rare earth metal, soft and malleable. And it sits at the very beginning of the lanthanide series on the periodic table. Its name comes from the Greek word lanthanine, which means to lie hidden. And fittingly, that's exactly what lanthanum does, lurking in plain sight in some of our most advanced tools, especially camera lenses. But before we zoom in on photography, let's understand why lanthanum is even valuable in the first place. Lanthanum has a very special set of optical properties. It can bend light in unusual ways, thanks to its high refractive index. This makes it incredibly useful in creating lenses that reduce distortions like chromatic aberration, the weird blurring or rainbow fringes you sometimes see around the edges of photos. When combined with other elements, lanthanum oxide can be turned into high-performance glass, known in the optics world as lanthanum crown glass. This special glass is lighter, more transparent, and more precise than traditional glass allowing for sharper images even in low light. It's not just about clearer selfies, it's what makes high-end photography, cinematography, and even some medical imaging possible. Lanthanum's journey into the world of optics didn't happen overnight. In fact, it wasn't until the mid-20th century that scientists realized just how useful lanthanum could be in lens making. Traditional optical glass was heavy and often introduced distortions. As photography and film demanded more precision, lens designers began looking for new materials that could bend light without the baggage. Lanthanum compounds offered exactly that, more control over light without sacrificing clarity. Soon, companies like Canon, Nikon, and Zeiss began incorporating lanthanum-based glass into their lens elements. It was a game changer. Suddenly, lenses could be lighter, smaller, and more powerful all at once. So if you're holding a modern camera or even a high-end smartphone, there's a good chance you've already looked through lanthanum without even knowing it. While its star performance might be in photography, lanthanum doesn't stop there. This stealthy metal plays supporting roles in a variety of industries, Take electric cars, for example. Lanthanum is a key component in nickel metal hydride, NIMH, batteries. Toyota's hybrid vehicles like the Prius have relied heavily on these batteries and lanthanum for years. It's also used in refining petroleum, stabilizing nuclear reactors, and even in certain types of glass for night vision goggles and telescope lenses. Essentially, Whenever clarity, stability, and high performance are needed, lanthanum steps up. It's like the backstage crew of modern innovation. You may not see it, but nothing would run smoothly without it. So where do we get this hidden metal? Lanthanum doesn't come in big shiny nuggets. It's usually extracted from minerals like monazite and bastnasite, which contain a mix of rare earth elements. Mining and refining these ores is no simple task. It involves complex chemical separation processes, 
because lanthanum is typically mixed with other lanthanides that behave similarly. It's like trying to pull out one specific raisin from a giant trail mix. All the pieces look the same. Most of the world's lanthanum comes from China, which dominates the rare earth market. However, there are also reserves in countries like the US, Australia, and India. Mining rare earth elements, including lanthanum, comes with environmental challenges, which is why there's increasing interest in recycling electronics and developing cleaner methods of extraction. It's easy to be amazed by the technology lanthanum makes possible, but there's a less glamorous side to this story. Extracting and refining rare earth metals like lanthanum can have serious environmental consequences. The process can produce radioactive waste, contaminate water supplies, and disrupt local ecosystems. In some mining regions, poor regulations have led to devastating effects on communities and the environment. This raises important questions. How do we balance our hunger for technological progress with responsibility to the planet? Can we develop better, cleaner ways to use rare earths or find sustainable alternatives? It's a reminder that even the smallest components in our devices come with big responsibilities. Let's bring it back to you. Think about your smartphone. That sleek, pocket-sized rectangle does more than just call or text. It's a camera, a flashlight, a computer, and at the heart of its camera lens, there's a carefully engineered piece of lanthanum-based glass, silently working to give you the sharpest possible image. Each time you snap a photo or shoot a video, you're relying on decades of materials, science, global supply chains, and some clever chemistry, all compacted into a lens barely bigger than your fingernail. So the next time you post a perfect portrait or capture a once-in-a-lifetime sunset, give a nod to the hidden metal that made it possible. Lanthanum may not make headlines, but it's changing the way we see the world, literally. Lanthanum's story is far from over. As we look to the future towards smarter phones, sharper cameras, and more energy-efficient vehicles, lanthanum will likely continue playing a key role. Researchers are also exploring new ways to use it in solid-state batteries and advanced optical systems. And who knows, in the coming years, we might discover even more surprising uses for this versatile element. For now, though, lanthanum will keep doing what it does best, hiding in plain sight, improving our lives quietly and invisibly. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.